Hello, Answerly viewers. I'm going to do a game review for you this week. The game we're going to talk about is called Guillotine. It just occurred to me that every game I've talked about on this channel so far is kind of morbid, and you'll be happy to know that this week is no exception. The point of Guillotine is to get as many points as you can by beheading nobles. Yep. So, Guillotine is relatively cheap. The game itself is about $10. It's made by Wizards of the Coast and can be played by three to five people. Each round takes about 15 minutes to get through and there are three total rounds in a game. At the start of each round, a deck of cards with nobles on them is shuffled up and lined up in a big row in front of the guillotine. Then there's a set of action cards. These can be used for a variety of things, but they're mostly used for changing up the order of the nobles in line. You can move nobles forward or backward in line, you can shuffle up the line in general, and some action cards will even let you mess with the cards in other players' hands or with the cards in their score piles. The first part of your turn involves playing an action card. Then comes the mandatory beheading. At the start of this step, whichever noble is at the front of the line is the one you have to behead, regardless of whether or not it's good for you. The nobles come in different colors with point values ranging from negative 3 to positive 5, so there are good and bad ones for you to execute. Some of the nobles also have special abilities or strategies involved with them to help you decide which colors you want to go for. For instance, the palace guard card is worth more points depending on how many you have in your score pile. The round ends when there are no more nobles in line to be beheaded, so the round is over when you've killed everybody. In the next round, a new set of nobles is lined up to meet their own doom and gameplay continues exactly like the previous round. The player with the most points at the end of round three wins. Guillotine is a fantastic game because it's really simple to learn. Um, you, can, you can pick it up really quickly, but there is strategy involved so it stays interesting if you play it multiple times. The game never really drags or gets dull. It's kind of um, action-packed the entire time, and the art on the cards is hilarious. I'm not really sure what these nobles all did to deserve being beheaded. It doesn't really go into the backstory of why they've all been uh, put up to the death sentence, but I think that suspending the disbelief of um, just being an executioner is kind of what makes the game Fun? God, guys, I don't know. Do I just have like a weird, sick sense of humor? I think all these games are hilariously fun, so... Anyway, I've played Guillotine a few different times with different types of people, and everyone that I've ever played with seemed to get a kick out of it, so I definitely recommend it for you and your friends or your next party. I definitely also suggest this game if you're looking for a fun card game to play with people but don't want to put in the effort of learning a more complex game like Magic the Gathering or really getting into deck building and things like that. Guillotine is fun, it's cute, and it's just dark enough to attract a wider range of ages and interest types. Have you personally played Guillotine or any games like it? I actually don't know if there's any other games out there like Guillotine, but let me know in the comments below if you know of any other games similar to this one, if you've played this one, or if you have any other games that you would like me to review in a future Answerly video. Until next time, it's game over.